What is up, people? Mr. Fowler here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Starshine Legacy. This is level three The Destiny of the Soul Riders. It had been a strange day. Alex is sure that Katya cheated during the race. There was no way she could have made it to the Scarecrow Hill and back with the apple as quickly as she did. And now James was acting strange after Katya kissed him on the forehead. Something weird, something sinister is happening in Jorvik. Mm -hmm. Jorvik Riding School. I'm sure Katya cheated yesterday. There's no way she could have made it to the Scarecrow Hill as fast as she did. Okay. I see a star. I have to take this call. It's my mom. Okay. Alex, I'm glad I got hold of you. James has disappeared. He's not in his room and some of his clothes are missing. We've looked everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Keep your eyes open and call us if you find him. Okay. I wonder where James is. It's not like him to just disappear like that in the middle of the night. And mom and dad must be so worried. I'll take Tin Can out to see if I can find him. I have to speak with the girls over there. Maybe they know something. Yeah, but obviously getting the stars are more important right now. I don't see anything that way. Oh, oops. I can't talk to you? Really? Isn't that weird how in the first game you could talk to anybody you want even if uh, they didn't really say anything? But then the third and fourth game they're like no, they're just, they're just walking around for no reason but can't say anything to him. And now in Star Stable Online, it's the same thing. If they don't have a quest for you, you can't talk to them most of the time. I don't see any other stars. There's really only one around here this time? Okay. Wait. I gotta make sure there wasn't one over here. No. I'm assuming I can't go inside until I talk to the girls. Yep. So? Hey everyone, something has happened to my kid brother. I still don't understand why they everybody calls him kid brother. Something has happened to my kid brother, James. Something has happened. My kid brother James has disappeared. I had a feeling something was wrong. I have to tell you something. It might help you find your brother. Holy cow! Somebody that actually just said brother. What is it? This will sound a little strange. I'm not sure you'll understand. I know. I know. Take my hand. Then you'll understand. Okay. Okay, don't be shocked. I'm going to show you a vision. Alex, since Linda managed to establish a mental link, here's a vision for you. Your kid brother has a new favorite big sister now. He'll never come back to you. Ha 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 ha. Did you really think our contest was over? Every race has a winner and a loser, and you lost. But I'll give you one more chance, big sister. You can have your snotty little kid brother back, but I want something in return. Bring me your horse, Tin Can, and I'll let James go. Meet me at Devil's Gap, the rock formation on the northern coast. You know the place. Be there soon or James will be gone forever. Wow, can you make any sense out of that? Really? That was like the she it, the whole thing was like really really easy to understand what do you mean 
What was that? I saw James and that evil girl, Katya. Yes, it was a vision. It's a power I have, and Lisa and Anne also have strange powers. But you don't. I think that's strange. But what can we do? We can't tell any grown-ups. They won't believe us. I know who we can talk to. Let's find Mr. Herman. Okay. He, oops. He's got to be... Oh, okay. He's right here. Let's go find him. Mr. Herman, you have to help me. Linda had a vision of Katya holding James hostage. He's locked up in a strange, evil-looking place. She wants me to bring her a tin can. I saw it too, and I think Alex has a secret power too, but it just hasn't manifested itself. What should we do? This sounds serious. Katya wants tin can in exchange for James. Hmm, that doesn't bode well. And she wants to meet at Devil's Gap? You mustn't go there yet. I think you have to go to the glade in the woods and meet Fripp. He can help you. Fripp? Who's that? A very wise friend. I think he knows a lot about the perils you face and what you can do to triumph. Okay, I'll take Tin Can and visit the Glade. I just hope you're right about this, Mr. Herman. Oh, wow, okay. I'll have to ride up this path to the Glade. It doesn't really look safe. I have to be careful and keep my eyes open for rocks and fallen trees. And you're also stuck. You teleported and we're in part of the gate. Okay, Fripp. This is not any place that we've ever been before. See, she warned me about the gaps. And I just didn't listen. Also, I didn't see it. It looked like it was still part of the road. Back. Where is the gap? Holy cow. Wow, you cannot see that gap at all. Dang, that is very hard to see. Okay, why are there gaps all of a sudden? Or am I forgetting? No, I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure those gaps were there during the... the uh, the race. Can I go down there? No, I can't. Okay. That was only for for that day with Anne. This one. I'm trying to see if there's any stars. Can I actually go down there? I'm probably doing this for no reason at all. Uh-oh. Why? Why do I do that? Well, at least it teleported me here. So this is the glade. This is where I'm supposed to find Fripp. Sounds silly to me. The only thing I've seen so far is a large squirrel. I am Fripp. I am not a large squirrel. I am the friend of the Soul Riders. I am your friend, Alex. Come over here and talk with me, Alex. Okay. I believe it is time for you to know the true nature of your powers, Alex. I am the guardian of an ancient evil, but that evil is about to break free. It all started thousands and thousands of years ago when my people and I traveled from star system to star system with a terrible cargo. We had imprisoned a creature of pure evil, a monster known as Garnak. Our goal was to travel to the end of the galaxy and imprison him forever as punishment for all his monstrous crimes. 
but our mission failed when Garnok's henchmen broke free and tried to take over the starship. We crashed here in Jorvik, and our vessel buried itself deep in the bottom of the ocean for countless eons. We were all trapped in oblivion, guards and prisoners, until we began to awaken and realize where we were. Garnok is still trapped in the ship with his generals, but they are doing everything they can to release him from his prison. But if they're trapped in the bottom of the ocean, how can they walk around in Jorvik? These creatures are not human. They have powers beyond your imagination. The generals use their mental powers to materialize in Jorvik, like Mr. Sands, the girl Jessica, and even your enemy Katya. But so far, they have been unsuccessful. We were four guardians, four powerful heroes, each holding one of the locks that held the monster Garnock imprisoned. Over the centuries, the generals have made many attempts to free their ma master, but we have stopped them. We have chosen four champions who share our powers. These champions are called the Soul Riders. The champions are chosen for one purpose, and they each have a unique role to play. One has the power to see the past, present, and future. One has the power to walk between the different planes of existence, defying the rules that bend mere mortals. One has the power to give life, and the last one has the power to take it. Yes, Alex, that is you. The Soul Riders have always had a champion, a warrior, who will face the dark forces of Garnock. You have the power of the Soul Strike. It is a terrible gift and a power that must be treated with respect. It can never be used except as a last resort. Well, that's a horrible power then, if you can barely ever use it. So I'm supposed to be this champion, this warrior, but I don't know anything about that. Now you will learn how to use your soul strike power. First, when you use your soul strike, you exist in two worlds at the same time. You will channel the energy for the soul strike into this world from another dimension. You will be able to aim your soul strike. Just look in the direction you want to shoot, concentrate on the target, and unleash the power. Press the left mouse button. <laughs> your power has to recharge for a few seconds between every shot. Try it now. Okay, prepare for soul strike practice. What am I aiming at exactly? Those things? The soul things? Good, Alex. Now you need to do some target practice. Some targets will be visible in front of a few of the pillars around this arena. Aim at the targets and hit them with your soul power until all the targets are down. Let's begin. Okay. That's loud. Look at that. I can even do it behind me without looking. Don't hit tin can. Very good, Alex. Remember, these were just harmless stationary targets. I will summon a few more challenging targets to practice on. You will now face a few shadow creatures of Pandoria. As they are outside of the world of Pandoria, they can't harm you here. Now try your soul strike power on the moving targets. Oh, he moved out of the way. Ooh, really? Soul Strike practice completed. Very well done. I think you are able to control your power now. But remember, be careful when you use your power. There are enemies out there with powers just like yours. Good luck, Alex. Level 3 completed. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.